Yesterday, February 4th, 2022, a date which will live in infamy, the Republican Party was suddenly and deliberately attacked by the former Vice President of the United States, Mike Pence. The Republican Party was at peace with Mike Pence and, at the solicitation of the Federalist Society, was still in conversation with him, looking forward to his admission that he could have and should have kept Donald Trump in power. Instead, in his speech to the Federalist Society, Pence not only showed no contrition for empowering the Democrat Party of Joe Biden, but said that Donald Trump was wrong and he was right to have done his dastardly deed. It will be recorded that Pence's attack on the Republican Party and its leader, Donald Trump, at the Federalist Society makes it obvious that his speech was deliberately planned many days or even weeks ago. During the intervening time, Mike Pence has deliberately sought to deceive the Republican Party and Donald Trump by false statements and expressions of hope for party unity. Mike Pence has, therefore, undertaken a surprise offensive, undermining party unity by throwing his lot in with the likes of Adam Kininger and Liz Cheney and against those who engaged in legitimate political discourse on January 6, 2021. The facts of yesterday and today speak for themselves. The people of the United States have already formed their opinions and well understand the implications to the very life and safety of our nation. As chair of the Republican National Committee, Rona McDaniel must be directed to censure Mike Pence and to remove him from the roles of the Republican Party. No matter how long it may take us to overcome Mike Pence's premeditated assault, the American people and their righteous might will soldier through to absolute victory. I believe that I interpret the will of the people when I assert that we will not only defend ourselves to the uttermost, but will make it very certain that this form of treachery shall never again endanger us. Hostilities exist. There is no blinking at the fact that our people, our party, and our interests are in grave danger. With confidence in our party, with the unbounding determination of our people, we will gain the inevitable triumph. So help us God. I ask that the Republican National Committee declare that since the unprovoked and dastardly attack by Mike Pence on Friday, February 4th, 2022, a state of war has existed between Donald Trump the Republican Party, and Mike Pence.